All right, friends, this is editing me introducing this video before it actually introduces. I filmed this like a week and a half ago, and it's a little bit shorter, but it's just me doing some little packing here and there. So this coming week is my last week of work. So after March 8th, Movemas is officially going to start March 9th, and it's going to be very Vlogmas style. And I have it set to go until April 9th, but most likely it's going to go longer than that. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. Good morning, beautiful people. It is Thursday. I cannot believe this week has flown by. I went to Target this morning. It's about a little before nine um, and picked up some bids for packing because that is what we're doing today. We are packing and I'll show you what I grabbed. So these I've already had in the garage. These are the decor bins I'm using. Once again, clear bins for all decor so I can know what is in it. I don't label any of my bins until they're all packed and then I'll go through and label and color code them all so that we know what is what. These are the hefty bins that I mentioned yesterday. I'll link them, they're from Target, they're so cheap. But what I love about them is see how the lid has like an extra like mm, two, three inches. It allows you to fill it up a little bit over the bin and that is game changing. And then these three gray bins are for my office. We'll go up there later today. <laughs> I think I could fit my entire office in these bins. Um, I really, really purged. But we're gonna start with these hefty bins because I was thinking, oh sorry that's so loud. I was thinking about one thing in particular for these bins and that is I use so, let me get this one out. I use so many books around the house. Like even in that stand, there are books. There are probably, yes, there are books in here. And those are all like purposefully color coded. So I wanna put all the books, see I have them on my mantle. I wanna put all of my decor books in one spot. So I'm gonna start the morning by just like walking the house and getting all of the books that I use for decor in that bin. Actually, I'm gonna sit them there and then I'll arrange them. Boy, did I <laughs> visually nail this with what size bin I needed. So I walked the whole house. There are other books in the house that like are reading books that are not decor, but these are all the books that I use for little vignettes, like pieces of accessories. They all fit in one bin. So when we get to the new house, I can just have all of my books that I use for decor in one spot, which will be so nice. Normally I'm like going around, finding where I've tucked them away. Now I have them all in one spot, all squared away. Love it. I actually really, really like using that media stand for packing. So I actually think I'm going to keep using it and put a bin there. I think it's time to do a larger decor bin. So let me get my little setup going. So I've been packing up some vases and stuff. What I do is one round of this brown paper and then one sheet of like a packing paper. <clears throat> I try to keep things really close together so there's not a lot of wiggle room. And then anything I can nest I nest inside of each other. So then when I have it like pretty full and I have extra space, like all my pillow covers that I'm taking with me, like shams, I nestle on top. So then I'm packing kind of two, two things at once. So. That's all snug in there. And then I'll snap the lid on and that one will be done. As I am packing things like this thermometer that goes on my wall that has screws that go with it, I just put it in a little baggie 
and then take a piece of painter's tape and tape that baggie to this before I wrap it up. That way I know it goes together. Same with these sconces. I'm going to tape them together. Also, by taping these together, it will also help them not bump into each other before I wrap them. Um, that way, when I unpack it, I don't have to like look for the screws. I know exactly where they are. Done. I have almost all my decor bins filled and I got a lot of it out. There's really not as much to pack as I thought. I will let Steven do his office. Um, this is my collection of wall art that is still left. There's a couple pieces I'm gonna go ahead and donate because I really just like don't care for them. But other things I am figuring out. Also think we're gonna do a little quick DIY on this and we're gonna change this raw edge black to like a tan, beigey, grayy color. So we're gonna do that before we move so it's ready to hang. Cause I do like the scale of this piece and I know we have an enormous staircase. Um, well, we have three floors so we have several places but I know that this will be a great wall filler. So there's that. I feel like I have made such a dent. Um, but right now I am packing up jar candles. I just keep them all in my buffet and burn them and put them back. And then I got rid of all the ones I don't want anymore. And I have this last um, high bin that I thought would be perfect for it. So I'm just gonna get out another pack of my like crinkle packing paper. And I'm going to wrap up these jar candles and put them in here. And then these curtains that I want to take with us, I'm using to like pack the bottom. And then I have some to lay on top. So they'll all be really secure. But these are the ones that I'm going to take with me. So I'm going to get them all wrapped up. Good morning, everyone. It is actually Saturday. And I have fallen off of filming a bit. So breakfast is done. I just have a scrambled egg with tons of hot sauce on greens and then a piece of sourdough bread. So let's eat breakfast and then get this day going. I am packing up my office and I'm using these gray um, bins that I got at Target. Eight bucks a piece, such a good price. The only thing I have left are these three, well, you see two. It's because the other one is right here. Um, bins that are kind of like catch-alls. Like I think this one has like ribbons and like some other stuff in it. So I need to kind of go through and organize that in our powder rooms, powder room, in our bathrooms, right here is like this Jack and Jill. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this. Anyway, we have like a Jack and Jill situation here. Um, all those are empty already, I believe. Yeah, all these are emptied out and cleaned. That's all done. Those are all done. I do want to take, this shower curtain down and take it with me. I mean, it has never, this bathroom has been used a handful of times. I mean, maybe three or four times. Like, <laughs> it's in perfect shape. But I'm going to go through these bins because there's a couple like cell phone cases that are for my work phone. And after I'm done with work, I'll only have one cell phone. So I'm gonna donate or take to school a bunch of the 12 plus, um, the 13 Pro Max cases because they don't fit my 14. And then keep just the 14 cases that I like and then go through the rest of this and see what I want. Little things I'm gonna put in Ziploc bags just so I kind of have things organized. I am also in the process of painting. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm leaving that in. I'm interrupting you. <laughs> 
stop. So I'm also painting that big canvas that was in our stairwell. Um, it, if you remember, I had the black raw edge and I'm just changing it out to a tan. And I'm just using a tan that I already had. It was a Benjamin Moore court that I had bought. I think it's called Antique Beige or something like that. So I have a first coat on it. I'll go in and do one more and that will be all done. Steven is taking the dogs for a walk. I'm gonna do a little bit more packing. Mabel. Oh, you look so tall. Oh, such a tall lady. Let's go. Uh oh. Oh no. Here comes some tracheal class. <laughs> and this, this is life. <laughs> Bye everyone, have a good walk. All right, I'm gonna finish working on this. Oi. I have to get this. And what ball was this from? Uh, the back room lamp. Oh, I didn't even know that that was... I, I don't think we had it set anymore on the hue. I don't know, I don't think it's, I don't think it's a special bulb then. Oh, it just yeah. felt different than regular bulbs. It what? It feels different than a regular oh, bulb. The ones that are the smart balls. Smart ones and there's LEDs. And the smart ones and the LEDs are good. Oh okay. The smart ones, let me see. No, I this is a smart one. Yeah. I don't think we had it set up though. He ran away again. Come on, let's go. Let's go, Bubba's. We're we're only doing we're not doing hells. We have to get out <laughs> of the exercise. <laughs> Okay, we will take tomorrow off. But you need your exercise. It keeps you young. We're oh. you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness great. The tale of two dogs. Alright, let's go. Come on, get in the car. Oh, look, he's going. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so while they're gone, I'm going to try to get a little bit more done. Um, I really don't have, I really don't have much more to do. I mean, I have a lot to do, but I feel like I made like a very good dent, a very good dent. Also, this video had no ending, so I'm going to end it here. Take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be starting March 9th for Move Miss. Hope you join me. Bye-bye.